What is going on everyone? Welcome to Detail Projects. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Maquis 37 floor mat and cargo liner rejuvenator. And uh, we're going to be put it to the test and uh, see what it does. So let's dive right in. And starting with the price, the Maquis 37 floor mat and cargo liner rejuvenator comes in at uh, roughly $23 Canadian uh, for 22 ounces. Now this is a dedicated floor mat and cargo um, liner cleaner uh, rejuvenator, which means that it will degrease your uh, rubber floor mats or your cargo liner and it will restore it at the same time. So for today's demo, I have a floor mat, which is um, just a rubber floor mat. And then we got a cargo liner, which is a little bit different material. It's more of a plasticky material. And so since this is a floor mat and cargo liner rejuvenator, we're gonna be testing it on both. So the purpose of the video is, do we actually need to have a dedicated product like this? Is it worth it? So let's find out. Okay, uh, before we start the demo, I just wanted to go over the directions real quick. Uh, so this product, you just uh, rinse off your floor mat or your cargo liner uh, with water. You apply this, you agitate it, and then you rinse off and repeat if necessary. Uh, so similar process to our traditional methods. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna see how this looks dry and how this looks dry. Remember that the Toyota emblem is the McKee side. And just disclaimer, I always uh, rinse my brush off between the uh, passes uh, just so we avoid any uh, chemical cross-contamination. So I went over these twice, now I'm gonna let it air dry and see what difference we get here. Okay, so the mats are now dry. Uh, so let's recap here what we did. Um, I took the rejuvenator, the McKees 37, and I went over the right side of the cargo liner and then I went over the Toyota side where the emblem is with the Mickey 37. I hit them twice um, but I'm gonna end up editing them out just to not have a lengthy video and uh, I went over the other side of the cargo uh, liner and this side of the mat with a degreaser in this case I used the Adams tie and rubber cleaner but in your case, you can use um, 
whatever you want, like super clean or whatever degrees you use. So I just wanted to compare the traditional method versus the dedicated cleaner. And so um, I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up here, but I cannot see a single difference between the rejuvenator and just the degreaser. I mean, they both clean decent. Um, I could have probably go in more if I wanted to, but I missed a couple spots here. But overall, like see here, we had the uh, we had the line. I can't say. I mean, it cleaned, but I can't say that it rejuvenated anything because this side. And this side look identical and I hope the camera picks it up and it's not slippery so that's a good sign like it's not like a dressing like and so I'm not sure if I can say that it's a game-changer but I can say that the mat looks good And moving on to the liner, we had the tape in the middle, which didn't hold up after my final rinse. So we can obviously see here where it was dirty. And then we can see here where we hit it with the rejuvenator. However, again, because this is, you know, it's an older mat and has some wear on it. I didn't see any, like it didn't bring back the, uh, any richness to it or anything. It just cleaned it. And again, it's not slippery. So, I don't know. I gotta say, I didn't see a difference. And so, I can't say that it did something special for me to be amazed and blown away by this product. Um, and I mean, the argument could be, even if you get a new let's say weather tech mat or something obviously those are going to wear with all the salt and the shoe wearing and friction so no matter what even like in six months a new mat's going to be worn i don't think this product will bring it back because it didn't bring anything back on my newer mats like i didn't do anything spectacular here i mean it cleaned it but I can't say that, again, it did anything crazy. So, in conclusion, the McKees 37 floor mat and cargo liner rejuvenator clean well. However, I cannot say that I would buy a product like this to clean my mats like a dedicated mat cleaner because what I was thinking and and again this is the first time me using this what I had in mind was it would clean but yet it will bring back some sort of richness without it being slippery like a traditional you know like if we add some water-based dressing on it will look way darker matter of fact let's just Put some on the other half just to compare it okay i'm just gonna hit it up with a little bit of vrp here and the reason i'm doing that is my expectation was to see the mat let's just go over here a little section Okay, I don't do this, by the way, on my own mats because I know these are slippery and um, I don't like to put dressings on, on my uh, rubber mats. However, my expectation was to see something kind of like this without the slippery effect. 
Um, and so that was my impression of this product. And it did not deliver that whatsoever. It just pretty much cleaned the cargo mat. So that's the point I'm trying to make is I don't see any, it didn't bring anything back, if that makes sense. It just cleaned the mat. So for me, just to end the video and not make it lengthy, um, it's not a game changer. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, a, it's a great product. It, it, did, it cleaned, uh, it might be for somebody, but for me, I would pass on this and just stick to my regular degreaser and traditional methods of cleaning my mats because at the end of the day, a mat is gonna get beat, a mat's gonna get worn and you can't do nothing really to bring it back except if you really wanted to dress it and have a temporary look and sacrifice slickness or, or to be slippery when, when you know, I, I wouldn't even prefer that. So to wrap it up, guys, I just think that this product is not a game changer. It's not necessary, um, but don't take my word. I guess you can try it out for yourself and conclude and, and judge if you, if you need that or not. But for me, I think I'll pass um, and I uh, hope this video helped you guys out. And uh, as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Talk to you later.